so today we'll talk about the uh, oral cavity. Uh, the oral cavity is composed of two major parts, uh, the vestibule of the mouth here, vestibule of the mouth, uh, and the oral cavity proper, which is this, oral cavity proper. Uh, roof of the oral cavity proper is the palate, uh, which is composed of two parts, the hard palate and the soft palate, and the floor of the oral cavity proper is the tongue. Talking about the palate, uh, this is the heart palate, composed of the um, palatine process of the maxilla and also the horizontal plate of the palatine bone. Uh, this is the uh, incisive uh, foramen leading to the incisive canal uh, in the maxilla. Uh, this is the uh, soft palate. So if there's a spot on this, we'd say that this is the soft palate. And uh, this lower projection is the uvula. Okay, so if there's a spot on this, we'd say that this is the uvula. And this is the uh, musculus uvulae muscle, musculus uvulae. Uh, the soft palate is formed by uh, three structures, uh, mucous membrane, uh, palatine aponeurosis, which is formed by the uh, tensor fili palatini muscle, and also uh, five muscles. Uh, the muscles are musculus uvulae, as you can see in here, um, Palatoglossus, uh, palatopharyngeus, uh, here, palatoglossus, and palatopharyngeus, uh, and we also have uh, tensor villi palatini and also levator villi palatini. Uh, the uh, palatoglossus muscle forms the palatoglossial fold, palatoglossial fold, and the palatopharyngeus muscle forms the palatopharyngeal fold. In between them lies the palatine tonsil. Uh, so it's important to know that uh, the oral cavity ends in the uh, palatoglossial arch or fold. Uh, so the oropharynx begins uh, from the palatoglossial arch, uh, meaning that the palatine tonsil is also a part of the pharynx or the oropharynx. Nerve supply of the palate uh, is through the uh, nasopalatine nerve, uh, okay, and also the greater and lesser palatine nerves. Uh, a branch from the glossopharyngeal nerve. Uh, talking about the tongue, uh, here uh, we can see some structures. Um, by the way, this is the mylohyoid muscle. Uh, this was anterior belly of the digastric and this is geniohyoid. Uh, these are not muscles of the tongue, uh, but they are in close relationship to the tongue. Uh, so uh, this is the tongue, all of that. Uh, it is divided into two major parts, the anterior two-thirds and posterior one-third. Uh, this is the foramen cecum in between, foramen cecum. Uh, this is the lingual tonsil in the posterior one-third of the tongue. Uh, and now let's talk about uh, muscles uh, of the tongue. Uh, we've got intrinsic and extrinsic muscles. Uh, the extrinsic muscles uh, are four in number. Uh, we have the genioglossus. Genioglossus. Uh, we have palatoglossus. Uh, we have styloglossus. And we also have hyoglossus from the higher bone. Uh, so, about the intrinsic muscles, we've got three groups of them. Uh, we have the longitudinal muscles. This is the superior and inferior longitudinal muscles of the tongue. We have the vertical muscles, vertical, okay. And uh, we also have the horizontal ones. They go like that, but we can't see them uh, on this model. Uh, the nerve supply uh, to all muscles of the tongue, including the uh, external or actually the extrinsic and the intrinsic ones are all from the hypoglossal nerve except for palatoglossus which is from the uh, pharyngeal plexus uh, and more specifically uh, by the uh, motor fibers uh, from the cranial roots of the accessory nerve which pass via the pharyngeal branch of the vagus nerve.
the horizontal muscles, uh, which are a group of the intrinsic muscles, may also be called transverse muscles. Uh, still talking about the uh, nerve supply uh, of the tongue, uh, we already talked about the motor supply uh, to the muscles uh, of the tongue, uh, which are all through the hypoglossal, except the palatoglossus, uh, which is through the pharyngeal plexus. <clears throat> but we also have sensory and uh, taste supply to the tongue, uh, the sensory nerve supply to the tongue, we can divide that into two parts, uh, anterior two-thirds and posterior one-third. Uh, of course, the sensory nerve supply goes to the mucous membrane. Okay, so nerve supply of the mucous membrane of the anterior two-thirds uh, is through the uh, lingual branch or the lingual nerve, which is uh, a branch from the anterior division of the mandibular nerve. Uh, sensory supply to the to mucous membrane of the posterior one-third of the tongue is through the lingual branch of the glossopharyngeal nerve. Uh, about the taste uh, supply to the tongue, uh, again, we can divide that into two parts, uh, anterior two-third and posterior one-third. Uh, so, uh, the uh, taste uh, supply of the anterior two-thirds of the tongue uh, is through the corda tympani nerve, which is a branch from the facial nerve, which will join the lingual nerve. The taste supply of the posterior one-third of the tongue is again uh, through the uh, lingual branch from the glossopharyngeal nerve. Here on this model uh, again uh, we can see some of the muscles of the tongue. Uh, this is the superior and inferior longitudinal muscles. Uh, these are the vertical muscles. Uh, again we can see the transverse ones. Uh, and this is uh, so these were the intrinsic muscles. Uh, now, about the extrinsic muscles, we have genoglossus. Genoglossus. Okay, uh, this is genohyoid. Again, it's not a muscle of the tongue. Uh, the external surface of the model, uh, again, we can see some of the muscles of the tongue. Uh, see, this is the superior uh, longitudinal muscle, uh, which is one of the muscles of the intrinsic ones. Okay. Uh, about the extrinsic muscles, here we can see the uh, styloglossus muscle. Uh, palatoglossus should be here, but uh, it's not been shown. Uh, this is hyoglossus, hyoglossus uh, from the hyoid bone, and this is uh, genoglossus. Okay, this is again genohyoid, which is not a muscle of the tongue. Uh, about the salivary glands that you can see here, uh, this is the sublingual. Uh, salivary gland beneath uh, the tongue, okay, and uh, this is the uh, superficial part of the submandibular gland, and this is its deep part, and uh, this is the submandibular duct. About the nerves, uh, this is the lingual nerve, and again these are branches from the lingual nerve, uh, and this is the hypoglossal nerve. And here we can see the lingual artery. Uh, on this model, again, uh, we're gonna talk about what we can see in the uh, oral cavity. Uh, the oral cavity divides into oral cavity proper and uh, vestibule of the mouth. Uh, but we don't have to confuse it with this. This is the nasal vestibule, okay? <clears throat> uh, all right. So, uh, of course, again, the roof of the oral cavity proper is the uh, palate. Uh, we have hard palate and soft palate. This is musculus uh, uvulae. Uh, this is uh, the soft palate, as we said. Uh, this is the uvula. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, of course, uh, the roof uh, of the oral cavity proper, uh, or actually, sorry, the floor of the oral cavity proper is the tongue. Uh, muscles of the tongue, the intrinsic ones, uh, we can see the uh, superior and inferior uh, longitudinal muscles, the vertical muscles. Again, we can see the horizontal or transverse ones. Uh, the extrinsic ones, uh, we can see the uh, genioglossus, genioglossus. This is uh, geniohyoid and mylohyoid, which are not muscles of the tongue. Uh, this is the uh, hyoid bone, uh, body of the hyoid. And uh, this is body of the mandible. Uh, okay, uh, this is anterior two thirds of the tongue, and this is its posterior one third. Um, here we can see the uh, epiglottis, uh, epiglottis, 
okay um, and uh, here this is the lingual tonsil uh, this is foramen cecum on this model this is the epiglottis 